everyone, I'm Lisa, in case you're new, and today I am doing my fall home decor tour for 2017. I always love doing these decor videos, especially for fall and Christmas. Today's video is a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers. We're all sharing our fall home decor tours. Everyone in this collaboration kind of has that farmhouse inspiration style. I love the farmhouse style, and I also use a lot of vintage elements in my decor mixed with some modern stuff. So I hope you guys will enjoy this tour and I'll have everyone else's channels linked below that is in this collaboration. So be sure to go watch their videos, let them know that I sent to you in their comments and I hope you guys will enjoy their videos as well. And if you are new to this channel, again, I'm Lisa. My husband and I post all different kinds of videos. We do home decor, cleaning, DIYs, recipe videos, faith content, vlogs, hauls, you name it. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna stick around and see more of our videos. And let's go ahead and get into the tour. So starting off outside on my front porch, I have this wreath that I actually made last year. And then this is another DIY, this sign I made a couple years ago. And then down here, we have this welcome mat that we got from Kirkland's this year. I think it's so cute, it says gather on it. And right next to the mat, I have this little watering can that I bought at Target Dollar Spot, I think a year ago, and a bunch of uh, floral stems that I got at the Dollar Tree. So here is what my entryway looks like. Please ignore those boxes for now. We couldn't move them, they're for my husband's business, uh, but he threw his back out, so we can't move them right now. So pretend like they're not there. <laughs> but here's this little corner over here. I just added this blanket scarf inside this basket to give it a fall touch. I have these pussy willows, which I don't think are technically fall, but I still thought they looked really pretty. And then I just have a little Dollar Tree pumpkin, as well as, as these little spindle sticks that I got from um, a th local thrift store. And then I have this welcome sign in the basket that I made. I do have a tutorial on how I make all my painted wooden signs, so I'll have that link below as well. And then I have this little happy fall sign over here that I did make, and I think I have a tutorial for that. And then moving on to my entry table, I just have this little uh, tin canister from the Dollar Tree with a bunch of Dollar Tree floral stems in it, a Dollar Tree pumpkin, and then this little sign that I got last year at Kirkland's. And then I also laid this fabric down on my entry table. Across from my entry table, I have this little area over here with the mirror. In this basket, I just have this cow that uh, was my husband's grandma's. I have this little thankful pillow that I made last year, I believe. Another pillow that I made, some wheat stalks. On this stool, we have this little sweet birdie that my husband picked out at Marshall's this year. And then another um, pillow, just like that thankful pillow that I made last year, but it says autumn. And then another pillow that I've made. <laughs> Moving out of the entryway into the living room, we have this bookcase over here. So on top here, I have some candlesticks from Kirkland's, these little pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree, a couple of them I have chalk painted, as you can tell. And I have some more wheat stems. Uh, most of this isn't fall decor in here. I have a couple little pine cones and sprigs down there, but that's about it. And then just give you an overlook of the rest of the living room. Right here on this little table, I have this pumpkin and apple sign that I made a couple or a few years ago. And this pumpkin I got last year at Kirkland's and it's like all shimmery and metallic-y. And then in these little vases, I actually made these, I don't have a video on this, but I just put some um, fall stems from the Dollar Tree and tied some ribbon around them. And then over here on this little table, I have some fall stems in this bottle and a little pumpkin that I got in a set at Kirkland's. And on our TV stand, I just have these tall candles and these candlesticks that I got from the thrift store, um, some Dollar Tree candles here, and some Dollar Tree pumpkins. And then for our couch and coffee table, I kept it kind of simple. I just added a couple blankets and pillows that I made. That pumpkin pillow, I do have a tutorial on from last year. Some other pillows, another blanket. Right here, I have this bottle milk crate with these little stems in it from the Dollar Tree and this little harvest sign that my mom got me last year. Above our couch over here, we actually have this painting up all year round, but it is a fall scene and we got it last year from Kirkland, so I thought you guys would like to see that. And then over in this little corner, 
we have a few fall decorations. Here's our pig picture we shared in our Kirkland's Hall. This is where we decided to hang it in case, case you guys were wondering. Uh, but I have this little tray over here that is from Walmart. We bought it last year. And I just have some assorted fall findings like pumpkins and pine cones, as well as a vanilla sandalwood candle from Grove Collaborative. And over here on the rocking chair, I have the hydrangea wreath I made this year with supplies from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is like one of my most popular videos right now, so I'll have that linked below. Thank you for all the love on that video. And I know a bunch of you have also made this wreath. And then moving on into the dining room. So here on my table, I kept it kind of simple. I just have this runner that I got at Target Dollar Spot a while ago, and then just put little chalk painted pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and some other fall Dollar Tree findings. And then moving on to my dining room hutch, which is one of my favorite areas to decorate. I actually have a full video on how I decorated this and tips for decorating shelves, if you guys wanna check that out as well. Up top, we have this sign that I made with a little Dollar Tree leaf garland, a basket of plates. Then there's this little Happy Harvest sign from Kirkland's from last year, some little false stems, some pumpkins that I got at a craft store a while ago. Um, this pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, more of those little berry stems, that pumpkin plate my mom gave me. And then these little pumpkins from Kirkland's and then some like pine cones and fall stems. And then another one of those pumpkins that I got at a craft store, some cinnamon sticks in these bottles. I have some corn that I bought at a grocery store a couple years ago. Um, it's like dried out corn. And then I have more of these Kirkland's um, pumpkins. And right next to my hutch, I have this chalkboard, so I like to change it out seasonally. Right now I have this design, which I got the inspiration for this off of Pinterest. Over here in our little water dispenser, I just have this Grove Collaborative tray with a couple of Dollar Tree pumpkins. And then moving on to our kitchen, I just have a few things to share with you guys. I have some tea cups, some pumpkin spice tea, some pumpkin spice, and cinnamon sticks all in this basket. And then I have this little chalkboard that I made that says pumpkin spice latte. I'm really proud of how this turned out. <laughs> On the other side of my sink, I have this little corner over here. I have this little wood paddle from Walmart, a little greenery tree that I bought at TJ Maxx a long time ago, a Dollar Tree pumpkin on top of a book, a little butter churner that I always have out. And then I have these little happy fall y'all um, oven mitts that I got from Walmart last year. And then we have a little pumpkin over here from the Dollar Tree. On the other side of the stove, I have this Give Thanks miniature bread loaf pan. And I thought this was really cute. I got this at Lifeway a couple years ago. All right, guys, thank you for checking out my fall home decor tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me what other fall related videos you wanna see us do on this channel. And be sure to go check out the other ladies in this collaboration. Again, their channels will be linked below, so go watch their home tours as well because I know you'll get totally inspired by all their decor. I love you all so much. Remember to do everything in love because you are lovely. Bye.